Hi, this tool will help you to transfer your Excel data to a notepad and um, we can also create logs as well so we can use this module and uh, use in our automation to create logs. This is my un input over here and uh, if I click on write to notepad it is going to write this to notepad and let me make data more bigger here and Four, six, and then click on this so if you look at the last this is one two four six right now it is appending the data so in case you don't want to append the data then we can go to log and clear this file or we can also uh, delete this file so that we get new data every time so click now the data is completely new so let me just take you through the code uh, this is the function the procedure which is being called by this particular button and first of all we are finding the last row the last row of this sheet here to here and then we are saying that if the row is a one or less than one then we are saying no not enough data after that uh, we have set reference to the lo my log sheet this is a my log sheet you can change it as you require then this is a log path this workbook path and then slash log dot txt after that what we are doing we are creating a notepad here instance and after that uh, we are um, finding the free file and assigning the free file number to a file number variable here the actual uh, write is taking place so here a loop is going through from here to the last row last row and then we are assigning data to a lock data variable here we are using a uh, date and time and then uh, a value a of this particular column then b similarly you can increase it so you can use c or d or some anything like that then you are writing the data to the file number log data and then a new line after that then we are closing the file and then at the last it is opening the file which we see right now here like this now in case we want to append this data uh, not to append this data so what we can do is here uh, we can use so we can use kill this one vba dot kill so every time it is going to write it will be a fresh data so let's see fresh data over here or us our easy way is this is to delete file or we can do here when we are opening the file we can just write a blank to it clear the file so now also uh, it is going to clear the file every time it writes but here the condition is if it is blank okay so one second here we are creating the file so what we can do is if the file is blank then we can use VBA dot kill here. We were supposed to use it over here. Now it's blank. It is creating a file else. It is going to. It means the file doesn't exist. If it exists, so we are going to use. If file exists, delete it. So if you run this one, it is not going to append the data. So now you look here, data is not being appended. Now say why set 
we want uh, till column 3 here the data to be written to this one so in this case we will add one more um, line here which will be C so if we run now A B C X Y Z X Y Z so here is a date which is coming <coughs> sorry if you want to remove the date as well then you can you have to remove this particular row from here till here this is a date one so you can experiment with this uh, file and uh, i hope this will help you to learn coding better and this was a very small example so thank you for watching and have a nice day ahead bye bye